well. Hi, everyone, and welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast, where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, God Help Us, Dragon Ball Super, and beyond. We're going to do them all in a quick five minute summary as best as we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? Silly goose. Sweet, I'll take it. As always, I'm going to give a brief synopsis of today's episode, episode 69. Who is for or is it Fortune Teller Baba? Oh, these titles. Who is Fortune Teller Baba? Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> Boma finds there is nothing wrong with the dragon radar and thinks something organic may have swallowed the ball that puts the ball off detection. Roshi suggests Goku visits Fortune Teller Baba to find the last dragon ball with her clairvoyance. Goku takes off with Yamcha, Poir, and Krillin. They stop at a town, and Goku needs to get a new suit of clothes. While a new martial suit is being made, Goku takes Upa on the adventure with him. After changing into his new clothes, Goku and his friends head off to the fortune teller Baba's palace. Passing des desert tornadoes and storms, they are greeted by fortune teller Baba's assistant, Ghost, at the palace. A group of mean-looking visitors enter the palace and leave in a devastated state. Goku and the others enter and meet fortune teller Baba herself, who is not what they expected. Baba is asking a huge price for a single fortune, and Goku's only alternative is to battle five warriors of Baba's. Colin, what did you like about this episode? Oh, I've got three things. Oh, go for it. The ghost dude. The yep. He's, he's awesome. Yep. The top hat dude, it comes out. He goes, ho, ho, ho. What's home for dinner? Of course it's behind <laughs> the, the, the settee or something. I don't know, some rich guy with a top <laughs> And then best one is Oolong's face when he was asked to come along on an adventure. His <laughs> face is like... <laughs> he's he's very angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I also think the ghost was pretty amazing because it was the... <laughs> yeah, no, nothing, nothing wrong here, folks. Pretty, pretty great ghost laughing. Uh, I have a, a note that says, this is a nice picture, but how is it going to help? And I can't remember what that means. Oh, it's about the map. Yes, that's it! It's like, follow this map. Oh, the words don't mean anything. And Goku's like, yeah, this is a nice picture. I don't understand how it's going to help us. It's a map, Goku. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's been using um, a radar all this time. He has, yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, what didn't you like? Uh, Goku's crushing his balls. Goku go, just going balls out in the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In front then, of everyone. And then scratching them. That's <laughs> gross. Oh, Goku. <laughs> Jesus. Um, what do we now know? Uh, Goku has no shame. Agreed. Uh, animals can potentially shield the location of the Dragon Balls for whatever reason. Uh, plot. Yeah, <laughs> plot, plot. Yeah. Um... Uh, polyester is timeless. <laughs> polyester is timeless. Uh, Go Goku still doesn't get the <laughs> the Colonel Corn joke that oh, Poir says, and there's a whole conversation about the fact he doesn't understand it. That's two episodes this has gone on for now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Baba Yagi is in the middle of a desert. Uh, electric tornadoes are in the desert as well. Oh yeah, there's a big storm cloud. Yeah, it made me think of uh, Helldivers Two with the fire tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, was um, uh, was it were there reference to like, oh look, there's lots of uh, corn towers there, and they're moving. <laughs> God, I think that's how it was described. Uh, oh, Goku can sleep on the Nimbus. I didn't realise that before. Maybe that's happened before, but... Oh, he's done uh, he, it before, I think, yeah. He uh, he also hasn't wore, been wearing any underwear this whole time. Oh, yeah, he's commando, man. He's going commando. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, he explains to Upa uh, that broccoli is just as scary as leaving home for the first time. Dude, I missed that. Yeah. And Upa's like, I've never left home before. He's like, that's all right. Leaving, you know, doing new things can be scary. Broccoli's just as scary as leaving home for the first time. <laughs> no, that's almost true. It's so true. Yeah. 
Oh, we have hit the end of time there. Uh, until next time, we will return to talk more Dragon Ball. So until that time, that's a goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from me. See you later, folks. Yep. Bye. Find the Dragon Balls. Look out for them all.